In March 1832, the Lord called Sidney Rigdon and Jesse Gauss to be Joseph Smith's counselors. Section 81 was originally given to Jesse. However, he left the church. Frederick Williams replaced Jesse in the presidency. This revelation was redirected towards Frederick. Although most revelations in the DNC are directed towards specific people, they can be applied to others, including us. In this section, God said that the keys of the kingdom are given to the first presidency, which is still true today. God also called on us to succor the weak, lift up the hands which hang down, and strengthen the feeble knees. In April 1832, Joseph Smith traveled to Missouri to establish the United Firm, an organization to build Zion and help the poor. God instructed the leaders of the United Firm to help people meet their wants and needs in their assignments. The discussion about wants and needs only makes sense in the context of goals. Buying two pairs of running shoes is not a need for most of us, but someone training for a marathon would need those shoes. To identify needs and wants, we must first identify our goals. Section 82 also teaches that God requires much of those to whom he has given much, and that he is bound to fulfill his promises when we do what he says. Section 83 instructs us to care for widows, orphans, and the poor. While family is the first source of support, the church helps its members because everyone in our community is important.